Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to another set of videos in which we continue to talk about Business Central and some of the features that you can use as part of your configuration and how you implement Business Central for your uh, active clients or uh, clients that you will be pitching for. So today's uh, video is going to be short and simple. Uh, just a feature that I wanted to point out. Uh, a lot of times I had uh, clients who wanted to talk about general journals and how you can archive them. So that's the feature that I wanted to talk about today. So at, uh, from the configuration aspect, from default perspective, uh, you know that if you were to go into general journals, for instance, and uh, you create a journal line uh, for that, you won't be able to archive this. So once you post this, what I mean by that is when you post it, it will disappear and there's no way of you to go back and see the journal line unless you go into the actual accounts that are being hit uh, by those uh, journal lines. So in order for you to archive them, uh, there's also a feature available in Business Central that you can use. It's a simple uh, checkbox that you need to click on and it will automatically archive it every time you go into a journal batch and then post a journal, for instance. Uh, let's go back home page and I'll show you exactly where that is. So if you go into the journal journal template These are all the templates that you would create uh, when you want to uh, create journal journals Of course, so template is the first part if you don't know how uh, The templates are created or what's the link uh, Between a batch and a template feel free to go into one of my uh, other videos that I had actually talked about templates and batches so in here, uh, you select the copy to posted journal lines. So I've actually done that here for a general journal. So if you were to select this, this would automatically archive every single journal line that you would post in a journal journal. And I'll show you and demonstrate how that works for you. Uh, but if you were to see from other journal templates, none of them are checkmarked. Uh, but if you were to archive it, of course, click on this and all the journals in that batch or in that template, all the batches in that template will be automatically, uh, um, the, the check mark will be automatically checked off. So would, that means that all the batches in the template would automatically be archiving all the journals so, uh, associated with each batch. But if you want to specify a particular batch that needs to archive all the journal lines, you can also modify that in the actual batch itself. So right now we've done it at template. Template is the first step. You need to do it, otherwise you're gonna get an error if you were to go into the batch and uh, check mark this copy to post it journal lines. So at a template level, you're gonna do it first. And then when we go into the batches itself, this is the batch for that. You see that copy to post journal lines automatically checked off. This one's also, also checked off, but I had it unchecked just to show you that it does work. So if you were to go into edit list and you want to check this off, you will get an error. So you can do this activity for as many batches that you have. Uh, if you don't want this monthly batch, for instance, to archive the journal lines, you know, simply uncheck that and then we'll save it. It's automatically saved. And the default one will have the uh, journal lines archived and not the monthly one. So let's give it a try. So let's go into the batch itself. Uh, I'm going to create a GL to a GL account. It's a very simple um, uh, transaction, and I'm going to just make sure that uh, just just to show you how actually it works. Uh, let's pick a different value. So I believe I already have one of the journal lines archived, uh, so I don't want to confuse you with that. Uh, so let's pick a, another GL account. Not to worry about how the accounting works out but it's more of the functionality that I'm interested in uh, so let me credit land points so let's do that uh, maybe not this doesn't like that um, perhaps I have to change the settings actually let's do this we'll go into the bank account and it's better that way so let's select checking account uh, no let's select saving account because I've actually done a transaction with the checking out I won't pick the filters uh, the dimensions or anything like that I think this transaction should be good. Let's oh, uh, let's not print it. Let's preview it so we know that there's no errors. Nothing is uh, popping up here as an error, so it should be good. We're good to post. So let's post this. Okay. So now 
as you can see the journal batch has been posted it disappeared uh, if i wanted to go into the transaction itself you know go into the actual cash uh, account the yield account in front chart of accounts and then drill through there but a lot of my clients have actually asked if i want to simply archive those lines and i want to go back to it how do i do it so basically you would have to search for post journal and there is the reports and analysis so posted journal journal as you can see there are two uh, transactions that were created so this is a 250 the one that i had actually uh, created just now and with that functionality as you can see as many uh, lines that i create in that badge it will archive them here and this is your exact um, exact journal line that uh, you know you posted instead of going into the actual um, GL account and drill through there and this is uh, one way of uh, accessing the um, journal line and just to show you how this monthly works because we haven't actually selected anything uh, in the copy posted journal lines so I don't expect the uh, the uh, all the general lines here to be posted so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of these and then I'm going to go create another one I'm going to actually replicate what we did there so we see that we didn't receive any other transaction uh, in that posted archive journal so if I were to do a bank account let's do savings actually and I believe it should be okay so let's post this and it's been posted it's successful let's go into the posted journal and as you can see there's still two so uh, I should have expected another one uh, if I had that check mark for the popular journal lines uh, activated but in this case we didn't so I didn't expect to actually have a journal line posted here as an archive so that is a functionality that's very really useful and it comes up a lot a lot of times accountants would like to see those exact journal lines as down of drilling through the chart of accounts a specific GL account and do their analysis so hopefully that actually helps you uh, with understanding the business central and some of the functionalities and I'll continue to do this activity as we uh, go deeper into business central